Ooh. Hello, Pete Rowe, private detective. Ta, the famous detective. Yes, that's that's me. Yes, indeed. How can I help, sir? I've stolen my chocolates. Oh. Chocolate. But after my birthday. <laughs> I see. Birthday present? I see. Okay. I'm upset. Right. And number of people present at the party? Oh, people in don't. <laughs> and the dress? Interesting. I know where you are, sir. Yes. And name? George. George Ray. So it's the Rowe household, Brighton. We're there in 15. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm not content to be with you in the daytime. Detective Peter George Rowe, and I'd like to ask each one of you a question or two. Name? Margaret Rowe. Sid Baker. George. Occupation? Nightclub bouncer. Housewife. Stood where, confidant. Where do you go to school? Uh, Queen's Park. Did you see anyone acting suspiciously last night? Suspiciously. No, apart from that bad. Um, I mean, you know, it was it was a crazy night. We were all dancing around. There was a lot of drinking involved, so I, I can't really remember precise, precisely things. But um, nah, nah. No, no. Well, I've seen a lot of suspicious things in my time. When exactly? <laughs> Even the, the last night, man. Last night. I don't think so. No. When did you last see the chocolates? I mean, we were all handing round our presents to George and it was obviously Margaret's present um, and that's probably the last time we saw it and the next day we went into the living room and bam! About 8 o'clock? Just when I was going to the toilet. I see. And then it was all gone. That's all for now, thank you. I'd ask you not to leave the country and stay by the phone. Thank you. Bye, Detective. I have gathered you all here because I think it's important that we sit down and discuss exactly what happened on that fateful night. I'd like to cast your minds back to the scene of the crime. Sid, you have a reputation for theft, don't you? You're known to the local police as an unsavoury character. Let me remind you a little bit of what you've been accused of in the past. And the court has actually found you guilty. Theft of chocolate bars in the local shop. <gasps> chocolate bunny rabbits and donuts. A bicycle and a scooter. George, you've been known to act childish at times. Rather like a five-year-old. So all of you present are not beyond the finger of suspicion. George... You left the room at 8 p.m. to go to the toilet. Sit down big jobs, didn't you? Sid. At that point of the evening when George was going to the toilet, you went clubbing at the end of the kitchen. You were dancing to loud music. True or false? The result of these two activities meant that Margaret was alone with the said chocolate bar. Okay, Margaret, let's look at some evidence, shall we? First of all, there's a chocolate wrapper. You tried to hide it, but not <laughs> Margaret, I know she said your chocolate fingers. It was chocolate, wasn't it? Was it, Margaret? I know she's another very clean. Let me smell those fingers. They smell of soap, palm olive. You've been cleaning your fingers, Margaret, because you know, and I know, you had traits of milk chocolate all under your fingernails. In fact, you're not Margaret at all, are you? I suspect the real Margaret is either buried in a garden or 
tied up in this drawer. The real Margaret can vouch for me when we de-gaffer tape her. You're actually Mikey Edward Rowe, keyboard player for Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birdies. You, sir, are a keyboard player of great distinction and a recovering chocoholic. You took this opportunity to Im impose yourself on this household. You imposter you. This is a crime of the most serious nature. I've come across some dreadful crimes in the past, but I find this one most unsavoury, as chocolate is after all. I will leave you now to sort this out. The real Margaret Rowe needs help to get out of the cupboard. Michael Rowe, I suggest you go back to your keyboards. Keep away from chocolate, and George, please don't do anything silly as I leave the building. In the daytime